Okay, so doing a little quick rewind, rewind uh, since our last part. Um, I went ahead and I did the hunt where you end up fighting Gilgamesh. We fought him before, and it's actually a two-part hunt. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, it's going to be this one, Battle on the Big Bridge. So we went ahead and did it because I grew, grew in strength and all that. And, um, and I know the reward was a Masamune. And lo and behold, we got it. Um, and as you can see, it's legit. It's our strongest weapon that anybody has right now, which is really cool. So, um, other than that, we haven't really done anything. So we're going to advance the plot here. Ships in the water. Send fishing dories if need be. I care not. Glossair engines are as good to us as sky to a fish. Leave what boats have foundered. I want soul saved, not driftwood. Our armada ran afoul of bad water near the Ridderana Cataract. All engines stopped a sudden. Becalmed. Trouble with a mist thick as death, it seems. Uh-oh. Those seas are yacht. I expected airship trouble, not a fleet foundering midst the waves. Tell me of what happened in Girovagon. Tell me. From the lay of your eyes, I measure all did not go well. Wasn't all that bad. Sid, was he false as yeah. I feared? Yes, but we may have caught a glimpse of his true intent. We may now know what it is that Sid searches for. So the day affected Nithocite was only a fragment? And these, or Curia, I know not and care to know even less. If we strike this sun crest with the sword of kings, no new stone may be born. We say the sun crest is the source of all Nethesite's power. If we might break it, the dusk shard would be as a thing lifeless. As for the manufactured Nethesite, who can say? There is another way. We use the treaty blade to cut a new stone from the crest. Use that to fight the Dusk Shard and the Manufactured Stones. Would you like to know the best use of Nethesite? Will or nil, I'll tell you. You pick it up and throw it away. Either way, we have to find the Sun Chris first, right? Don't we? Across the sea, and a tower on a distant shore. Redis? Familiar words, Vaughn. I saw something of the sort written in some documents I chanced upon during my visit to Draclaw. The Naldoan Sea, the Ridder on a Cataract, I love those guys the voice acting, by the way. I sent my fleet to fish out the truth behind these words, and caught trouble. Then proof is ours. This lighthouse on the Naldoan Sea is the tower on the distant shore. The strong mist that becalmed your ships is a grimmer yet clearer sign than any we might hope for. The Suncrist is there. All well and good, but how do we get there? Those seas are in Yacht, as I recall. Try putting this one in your ship. It is a sky stone made to resist Yacht. More spoils from the Draclaw labs, is it? Why not use it yourself? That's just the thing. My ship's a Bergerpen model. It will not work. But should it fit the Strahl, she'll fly in Yacht. Lady Ash. I would accompany your highness, if you do not object. I am in your care. But tell me one thing. Why do so much for us? Yeah, this guy's shady. The Nabudis Deadlands. Nabudis was your home? Nay. But a memory forever burned in my heart. Ah, it is you. Have you heard? Our ships into the Pharaohs have foundered. Thankfully enough, it were just as the fishing skulls came home, we sent them out straight away. Ridderana, the great Pharaohs in the bottomless cataract. No man of Balfenheim would willingly go there, so after we warned his children. But Redis is no man of Balfenheim. There were many against the expedition, but he, he knew no fear. You make for the great Pharaohs? That place is in Jag. You know, you will not be able to fly there. There you are, the repairs on the straw are complete. Koopa, you can leave whenever you want from the aerodome. Koopa, you have a sky stone that can fly and jag? I'll put it right in the straw, then, Koopa. 
Okay. Ah, that's a spot of good fortune. That new sky sun should ease your journey considerably. Ah, you know the way? Pharaoh's that tower on a distant shore stands on an island at the Ritterana Cataract and the Jag Aldoa southeast of here. Take care. Alright, okay, so now we're gonna fly. Weird, it's because a straw. Oh, I guess the straw would be here. We ended up flying here way back when, but. The Pharaoh's Lighthouse is like. It's not technically the final dungeon, but it's a pre. It's like. It has all the makings of a final dungeon. Lights for keys. Lights. Jeriba. Uh, um. Time airships. Man, it's ours, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, this is cool. You literally fly. Well, I shouldn't say anywhere. Pretty much anywhere that has a teleport. No. I don't even say teleport sphere. It's kind of weird where you can fly. Um. Abra's Deadlands. I kind of want to go there. There's a couple of hunts I have. And I'll probably end up going there soon. If this has a teleport save first, so I may get to go through the Green Arena Cataract. I don't think it's that long. But you'd have to go through that before you get to the Ferris Lighthouse, so. I may end up like. May end up getting to the save sphere if it teleports us, and then go on the Navarus Deadlands. A tower on distant shore. And about its peak, a piercing mist. Ran has the most annoying voice mist, actress, but she's got the best the dialogue. Waits. My lady, your words still sound of doubt. Pray you reach your answer ere we the sun Christ. And? Should I choose revenge, what then? Then your woe shall be your own. Vaughn, a word. If something untoward should happen to me, you're taking the straw. Wait, what? Untoward? What's this about? I am the leading man. I need to do <laughs> something heroic. Still don't understand why he don't says worry, he's the leading I'll man. I'll show you how to fly him. Though I would say, in terms of story, he's probably the third most important character in this game. If we're really getting honest about that. Oh, the, yeah, he's maxed everything out on the Shikari. Then we got Bowbreaker. 
He doesn't really have much left. Um, really don't care about equipment right now. I'm just seeing if there's any like abilities. Magic potency. I'll do swiftness. Ash. And I should have some stuff. Learned just about everything on the black magic board, but anyway, all that said, be gone. Maybe the reader and cataract really isn't a whole lot to do. It's a safe crystal. Levels red is fifty. That's ball. Oh, my God. Can't wait till I get Haska. Um, I don't know which way to go. Next potion. Oh, I need to put lever on. You know, I'm gonna say screw this haste gambit. When the time comes, oh, uh, like boss battles, I'll use haste, but I I'm not dealing with Bosh having to constantly stop. Um, but da -da 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 -da. north or south? Which way do we want to go? Let's go north for now. Six go. All right. Okay, nothing there. Oh, there's a chest over here. Balance moot. Oh, cool. That was a rejuvenation trap. Off the Phoenix down. I think this. Ah, uh, no, this is actually a different area. No chest. Oh, sweet. Got her urn. Chest. I'm 21 go. Don't really need a whole lot of money right now. Ah, crap. I 
And yes, I know I'm going into dead ends, but I but I want to make sure I get all these treasures and whatnot. Holy lands. Oh. Sounded good. Hunter Gill. Wait. Nothing, even though I was going off map. That's what I was saying, like, there was something there. Uh, nothing. Alright. Well, I guess we're gonna go further north. My Libra wear off? Like, there were definitely a lot of traps. Hell, I can I think this is a unique, yeah, that's a unique, uh, enemy. Oh, that sucks. Uh, Chrono's tier. Alright, I'll let Bosch do his thing. Why well, it's helpful to have Bosch with Kiraga. Wizard's Bane Trap. X-Potion. Nice. And yes, I know I'm willingly walking into these traps. These stairs. A sweep. The hell is a sweep. Oh, it's a pole. That's actually a pretty solid spear, and I ain't gonna lie. First guy doesn't mobilize, and I remember that because he was a pain in the ass. I 
don't have Isunaga. So I may end up struggling a little. But I should be strong enough to beat this guy. I also want to put the haste gambits back on. I need to slow this battle up. Great countdown. Right, let's do a remedy. I should have gotten more remedies. Yeah, and there's no, you can't cure disease. Get all fear out of there. Oh, man. Oh, we're looking really solid right here. I can end this right now with the quickening. Whatever, I don't care about Redis. Boom. Sorry, Ash. Conquer. Love, love getting trophies. Congratulations. Probably, to be honest, that's probably the weirdest part of this game. Like, 
Ruby Rain, that's really good. That's the one that cuts MP costs in half. Hey friend, something's written on the wall. Engraved by someone, it seems. Hmm, it's quite old. Lo, seeker in days unborn, God blade bearer. Know you, this tower challenges the sky. Where the watcher, the ward of the three weights, soul hungry, unsated. He without power, want it not. He with power, trust it not. He with sight, heed it not. Rend illusion, cut the true path. In blood, Wraithwall. The Dynast King? What? Does it startle you? The Dynast King took his sword from the Ocuria. It was here he claimed the Nethysite. He must have known he was not the last the Acuria would choose. He left this for you. Rend illusion. Cut the true path. Words of much mystery, yet his blood runs in your veins. Perhaps it whispers to you the truth. Pretty legit. Like, it's just a huge, huge building. You know, I always wonder, like, how do these places get built? Like, who builds these buildings? You know? Alright, yep, I definitely remember this dungeon now. Definitely, definitely remember it. 